Since joining the royal family, Meghan Markle's style has been scrutinized, and it's hard to imagine her leaving the house in sweats. From color-clashing looks to expensive and extravagant gowns, here are the best outfits the Duchess has ever worn. On May 19, 2018, suit star Meghan Markle wed Prince Harry in St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle. For the ceremony, watched by an estimated 1.9 billion people around the world, Meghan was the picture of an elegant, modern princess in a white, long-sleeved gown by Givenchy. In an audio recording to accompany an exhibition featuring her dress after the wedding, Meghan said, "...I had a very clear vision of what I wanted for the day and what I wanted the dress to look like." Meghan's silk tulle veil was 16.5 feet long, and embroidered with depictions of flowers from Harry and Meghan's British home, Meghan's native California, and the 53 Commonwealth countries of the UK. Her white pumps were also by Givenchy, and her round diamond stud earrings, a pair she's worn frequently both before and after the wedding, were by Cartier. To accentuate the Queen Mary diamond bandeau tiara she wore, Meghan kept her updo and makeup simple and natural for her wedding day. After the pomp and circumstance of her formal wedding ceremony with Prince Harry, Meghan Markle switched things up for their evening reception at Frogmore House. Hosted by Harry's dad, Prince Charles, Meghan wore a stunning white halter dress by Stella McCartney. The beautifully draped floor-length gown, which featured a low-cut back, was available to purchase for approximately $4,500 at the time. McCartney, the daughter of legendary Beatle Paul McCartney, launched her eponymous brand in 2001, inspired inspired by sustainability and her lifelong vegetarianism. The designer told Elle in August 2018, "...I think Meghan chose me for reasons other than just a beautiful dress. Obviously, I am a British designer, but I think being a woman and being a women's woman played a part." I also have quite a responsible, ethical take. As Harry and Meghan zipped away to the reception in a classic convertible, Meghan waved to onlookers. As she did so, she flashed an aquamarine gemstone ring from the personal collection of the late Princess Diana, Harry's mother. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle made their first public appearance together in September 2017 at the Invictus Games in Canada. At the annual charitable event started by Prince Harry to benefit wounded service members, Meghan and Harry held hands and looked smitten. Plus, Meghan gave the world its first glimpse of her casual but stylish fashion sense. Meghan wore a white button-down husband shirt by her friend and designer Misha Nunu, along with ripped-at-the-knee mother denim jeans. She wore her hair down and slightly wavy, and accessorized her look with tan Sarah Flint pointed flats. She also carried a large tan day tote by Everlane, which once retailed for $180. In a photo call seen around the world, Meghan Markle stepped out with her fiancé, Prince Harry, on November 27, 2017, to announce their engagement at Kensington Palace. For the photo shoot, the future Duchess of Sussex wore a $627 white knee-length coat by the Canadian brand Line over a dark green dress by Paroche. Her heels were a nude-colored ankle strap pair by Aquazura. Meghan was a fan of Line before her big announcement, according to the brand's designer, John Muscat. He told Harper's Bazaar after the photo call, "...she likes to feel modern and dressed up, but still chic. What I also love about Meghan is that she has a relaxed style and has always stayed true to that. She looked very her, which is really what was great about the coat." Following the whirlwind of her wedding festivities with Prince Harry in May 2018, Meghan Markle kept the fashion moments coming during her first solo event with Harry's grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II. In mid-June 2018, Meghan accompanied the Queen to an official bridge opening ceremony in England and wore an elegant, cream-colored dress by Givenchy, the designer of her wedding gown. While the Queen opted for a cheery, bright green ensemble, Meghan's look featured a belt and a unique cape-shouldered overlay. With simple jewelry and her hair down, she also carried a black clutch by Givenchy and wore stilettos by Sarah Flint. In her March 2021 interview with Oprah Winfrey, Meghan talked about a sweet moment she shared with the Queen during the outing, explaining, "...we were in the car going between engagements, and she has a blanket that sits across her knees for warmth and it was chilly. She was like, Meghan, come on, and she put it over my knees as well." 
It made me think of my grandmother, where she's always been warm and inviting and, and really welcoming. In October 2018, the recently wed Prince Harry and Meghan Markle embarked on their first official royal tour. The couple visited Australia and New Zealand and the islands of Fiji and Tonga in the South Pacific. During their stop in the Kingdom of Tonga, Harry and Meghan attended an evening dinner and reception with the country's king and queen. Harry wore a tuxedo with some of his military decorations on his lapel, and Meghan stunned in a white cap-sleeved gown with shoulder beating by the brand Thea. Meghan wore her hair up in a loose bun, and she carried a small black clutch by Givenchy. Her heels were by another favorite of the Duchess, Aquazura, and she also wore diamond earrings by Burks and Princess Diana's aquamarine ring that she first wore to her wedding reception in May 2018. Meghan Markle made a bold and colorful statement in January 2019 when she paired a deep purple dress with a bright red coat for her first official outing of the year with Prince Harry in the UK. The Duchess, who was pregnant with her first child Archie at the time, joined Harry for a day of sculpture viewing and charity visits. Meghan's long sun alert coat featured a flared opening around the neckline and matched her red heels. With her purple dress by Babaton by Aritzia, it was a striking and memorable look. To top it all off, Meghan carried a more understated brown bag by Gabriella Hurst and wore her hair up in a loose bun with some looser waves framing her face. For the British Fashion Awards in late 2018, Meghan Markle made a surprise appearance to honor the designer of her wedding gown, Claire Waite Keller, who was receiving the British Women's Wear Designer of the Year Award. Meghan, who was pregnant with Archie, wore a sleek black one-shouldered gown by the fashion house Keller designed for at the time, Givenchy. She kept the rest of her look equally pared down but still elegant. With her hair slicked back into a bun, Meghan also wore gold Tamara Mellon strappy-heeled sandals and accessorized the outfit with jewelry, including a chunky gold bracelet by Pippa Small. While presenting the award to Keller, Meghan talked about the importance of connecting when it comes to fashion. She explained, We have a deep connection to what we wear. Sometimes it's very personal, sometimes it's emotional. But for me, this connection is rooted in really being able to understand that it's about supporting and empowering each other, especially as women. Because that special kind of connection really helps in making something absolutely perfect. In January of 2020, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle announced their plans to step back from their roles as senior members of the British royal family, with their initial plan being to split their time between the UK and the United States. Before their split with the palace became official, though, the couple had a number of royal engagements left to complete. One of those was a glamorous night out at the Mountbatten Music Festival in March 2020, an event benefiting the Royal Marines Association. For the event, Harry wore his military uniform, and Meghan matched his red coat perfectly in a caped gown by Sofia. With her hair down, she wore red heels and carried a red clutch by Manolo Blahnik. The Duchess opted for a pair of statement earrings in a deeper shade of red, but it was her date for the night that proved to be her best accessory. Harry and Meghan smiled and held hands on their way in, presenting a united front to the crowd. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle found themselves out on a rainy evening when they attended the Endeavor Fund Awards in London in March 2020, but even the weather couldn't dampen their shine at one of their last official royal engagements. The couple made their way to the event huddled together under an umbrella, and movie-worthy photos of the beaming pair, rain sprinkling all around, quickly went viral. Meghan returned to bold colors for this outing, wearing a bright turquoise blue Victoria Beckham dress. The Duchess wore her hair back in a chic ponytail, along with simple earrings, and she carried a dark clutch to match her heels. At the event, the couple's first in the UK since announcing their exit from the royal family, Meghan said, It's very nice to be back. Harry added, Being able to serve queen and country is something we all are rightly proud of, and it never leaves us. On March 9, 2020, Meghan Markle stepped out in London with her husband Prince Harry for their last official royal event. Harry and Meghan joined the royal family for the Commonwealth Day services at Westminster Abbey. For the event, Meghan chose a dramatic green dress with a caped shoulder by New Zealand designer Amelia Wickstead. Topping off the monochromatic look was a green fascinator with elaborate netting by William Chambers. With her hair up in a bun, Meghan also wore nude heels by Aquazura and carried a mini bag by Gabriella Hurst. 
the Duchess of Sussex's choice of the Amelia Wickstead dress was notable, considering the designer called out Meghan's wedding dress in 2018 as a supposed copy of one of her designs, as reported by Elle. Wickstead also criticized the fit of the iconic Givenchy wedding gown. She later walked that back in a statement, saying in part, her Royal Highness, the Duchess of Sussex, looked absolutely beautiful on her wedding day, and I have the utmost admiration and respect for her." Meghan Markle sent a sartorial message when she sat down with Oprah Winfrey for an interview in early March 2021, revealing all about her and her husband's exit from the British royal family. Her dress, a long black Armani piece with a white floral lotus design, contains symbolism important to the Duchess. As noted by Town & Country, it is associated with rebirth and spiritual enlightenment. Our piece highlighted the resilience of the flower and its ability to flourish despite seemingly challenging conditions. Megan, with her hair up and a loose bun, was pregnant at the time with her second child, daughter Lilibet. In addition to the Armani dress, Megan wore black heels by Aquazura. For her accessories, she included nods to two of her former homes by wearing earrings by Canadian brand Bijou Burks and a necklace by Pippa Small, a British designer. Megan also wore a Cartier love bracelet that once belonged to Harry's mom, Princess Diana. After settling into their new life in Montecito, California, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle visited New York City in September 2021. During their trip, the founders of the Archwell Charitable Foundation took time to visit an elementary school in the Harlem neighborhood, where Meghan read to the kids from her children's book, The Bench. For the outing, Meghan wore her hair down, and she looked stunning in a maroon two-piece suit by Laura Piana. With matching heels, the look gave major Golden Girls vibes. In addition to Harry and Meghan's visit, Archwell donated cleaning and personal care products, a washer and dryer, and fresh vegetables and herbs to the school. While reading to the kids, Megan asked them, "'Where is the place you find to be your happy place? I'd love to hear from you.'" Harry, seated among the youngsters, encouraged one girl to shout out her answer. Whether she's bringing the 80s back to New York or zooming in from Montecito, Meghan Markle meets the fashion moment wherever she goes. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about the royal family are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.